I've determined that I want my fuse box over here. So that's about the only place I can put it. So I'm gonna have to take this out and redo my grounds. So this is what I'm thinking. So I've already got one power wire run back here this way. I could come out like this, curve around, go in here, and go back, adding my second power wire going to the back. I gotta straighten out all this other stuff though, so it's a lot of neatening up to do, but it's just kind of where my mind's at right now. I'd rather mount it somewhere besides the fuse box lid, but there just ain't really no other place to put it and that makes any sense. Uh, <sighs> this location could change in the future, but I think I'm going to go with this for right now. Um, yeah. But before I do that, I've got to sort out my turn on wire and I gotta get in here and find a nice switched location so I found one labeled miscellaneous ignition which is 43 the dead center of your screen and it would be one of these 10 amps the second one down that I kind of cleaned off with my finger I'm gonna go get my uh, voltmeter and test that out so we got one terminal on the battery over here and we're going to check both sides of the fuse. Okay, there's nothing showing there right now. All right, the key's in the on position. And we're getting 11.91 there. Yeah, same numbers. Okay, good. So, number 10 there. Is a good one. Uh, do I remember? I have a pigtail for these size fuses. I gotta go in there and find it. All right, so this is a fuse tap, and this is the fuse that come out of that hole. Now, whenever you use one of these, you take your existing fuse and you put it in the bottom down here. I'm hoping this is the right size. There's, there's so many of these and they're so close together. But you take your existing fuse, you put it on the bottom, and then the fuse on the top, the one closest to your wire, is the one going to the accessory you're powering off of it. All right, so I got my, my energizer wire run over here and I had to get this thing mounted down. Uh, in a fixed position, which it is solidly done, uh, to be able to sort out how I wanted the wires to run because everything depends on where this is. <laughs> so, there it is. <laughs> now, this is one of my old wires, uh, and I'm going to use it for a uh, measuring tool. So, I'll get it on here and uh, and I will lose that nut. <laughs> anyway, I'll get it on here and use it to measure out the thing. I gotta get my hand down in there. That's gonna be tricky. Not too bad though, I can get it. All right, so this allows me to be able to visualize how this is all gonna go and then get a length as to what length I need to make my cables. Uh, see, I got something in mind that looks like this. That's what I had in mind anyway. 
I would ask your guys' opinion, but by the time you give it to me, this will all be done. guys I'm mostly done up here and uh, there's still some stuff to do I'm gonna be neating it up a little bit more tomorrow but overall I think we're in pretty good shape um, So, yeah, there you go. Call that significant. <laughs> Okay, guys. Um, I am tired. I've been at this all day and last night. Here's the thing. <coughs> that alternator ain't no joke. Um, so... I had it, had it hooked up. I didn't have my second power rod run, just the one with a 300 amp fuse in it. I fired it up, uh, put on a track, and within about one second, of the uh, rear view camera that I used for a rear view mirror exploded. Parts fell all over me and uh, I blew that fuse. Literally within a one second. That mirror has been up there for six months, I think, five months. And I've been basing the crap out of it, never had a single issue. And it exploded. Never blown a fuse, and I instantly blew it. So I now have both power wires running, two 300 amp fuses. I haven't put it to a test yet because I've got 
a seat, a, I got a Tahoe full of tools and parts, and I honestly just am too tired to do anything about it. I will take it out tomorrow, and I gotta go out there and grind it all out, take it out tomorrow and test it. But I, I do know the voltage is up, and I do know it's pumping out insane amperage and uh, yeah I may end up having to run multiple more than two fuses just to just to be able to keep the thing from blowing up so we'll see we're going to test it with two fuses and see how that works if that don't work well let's go to four anyway for now guys peace